All right, we're gonna get started. Um, again, thank, thank you to everyone who has joined today um, for this webinar about Missouri University of Science and Technology. Here we just wanna provide an overview um, of our university, some important next steps that students um, should consider taking, and most importantly, answer any questions that you may have about our university, about the city, or anything and everything as you prepare for your move to Rolla. So again, um, welcome. My name is Jody Ubekamp, and I work in the Office of International Affairs and am the Program Manager of International Recruitment. I'm Eleanor Chapman. I work with um, students who are sponsored by their home government or a company back in their home country. Um, and I help you through the application process every now and then. And then I will be your person to go to whenever you do arrive on campus. I'm Dom Nader. I work for the International Affairs Office. I'm a student here at Missouri s and uh, My major is mechanical engineering. I'm from Saudi Arabia and I'd we'll be more than happy to help you. Alright, so um, as we go throughout the presentation, um, please feel free to type any questions that you might have in the um, chat, or we'll also have plenty of time at the end to open it up for questions as well if you want to unmute yourself then and ask questions. So um, this presentation is to give information for you, so we want to make sure that you go away with all of your questions um, answered, so please don't be shy and feel free to interact. So first of all, Missouri University of Science and Technology is known internationally for its engineering science and technology programs. You can tell from our name that science and technology is really the focus of our university and what we're most famous for. Here you can see a map of the United States and the bright green star in the middle is where Missouri s and is located. So we're located um, in the state of Missouri right there in the middle of the U.S. There's some really great things about our location. One of them being Rolla is um, a smaller city, so with that comes a very low cost of living, and most importantly, it's very safe. The community in Rolla really embraces our international community. We have a lot of events where students in the community are able to interact. We have um, it's just a very safe and welcoming environment. So when you're here, you can really focus on your studies and aren't distracted by anything else. Um, also, because we're located right in the middle of the US, it's a really great location for traveling on your breaks. So on spring break or winter break um, or summer break, you can easily take a trip and travel and see, you know, go visit New York, California, Florida, Texas. Um, all of those are within reach of being in our central location. Um, Nader, do you want to share a little bit about, from your perspective, what yes. Rolla is like? You want me to talk in English or Arabic? Ali. You can talk in Arabic or English? Both? Okay. The area is very safe. You can travel to any place you want to go, you can go to any place you want to go. The center of the United States and you can go anywhere. It's really cheap here and you can do a lot of things. We have a recreation center which is really awesome. They just expanded it and yeah you can do a lot of things here. And do you have any questions about the, the city? Maybe I can answer them more specifically. Well I have I have asked a lot about the city so I already know most of it. Thank you though. Very good. So, and another good thing about Rolla is um, we do have two mosques here. Um, if you like to practice and attend those, we have um, an international grocery store where you can buy halal food. We have um, a couple of different, always on Tuesdays, we have one on campus, halal food is always available. Um, and we another kind of little restaurant that we have on campus also offers halal food every day. So for um, the Muslim community, we really try to embrace that and um, make sure that you are able to worship and practice um, still here while you're living in Rala. So we just had another guest join us, so I want to give a chance for him to introduce himself. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Hi, my name is Mansoor. I'm from Saudi Arabia. I'm doing the master's degree in chemical engineering. Very good. Thank you. So 
here's a couple pictures of um, Rolla, the city that uh, Missouri S&T is located in. You can see from the pictures, um, we do have four distinct seasons here um, in Missouri. So in summer, it can get um, quite hot. In winter, it can get um, quite cold. We do sometimes get snow. It doesn't snow all winter, but it usually snows a couple times depending on the season or depending on the year. Um, our spring and summer, the weather is really, our spring and fall, the weather is really mild and beautiful. Um, Rala is surrounded by forests. So if you enjoy doing outdoor activities such as fishing, hiking, boating, there's all kinds of fun things like that you can do. So here's just a few important things to know about Missouri s and um, We're one of America's top public research universities. So here students will have the opportunity, even um, as undergraduate students, to be involved in research, work in state-of-the-art laboratories, work hand-in-hand -hand with their professor on research projects. Um, our students graduate with the ability to address real-world problems. So what that means is you're not just going to be learning out of a textbook and learning about, oh, these are the concepts. You're going to be able to learn how to apply those concepts to real world situations. So after you graduate and you enter the industry, you'll be able to use your education from Missouri s and um, We're ranked as one of the top universities for return on investment in the United States. So our reasonable tuition rate Based compared to the very high and competitive salaries that um, students receive, make it a very good return on investment. So as an international student, when you are thinking about coming to the United States, that's a very big investment of your time, your energy, your money. So you want to make sure that you're putting all of those resources into a degree that's going to pay off for your professional career, and that's what our graduates see. Um, Missouri s and also offers a broad range of degree programs. So we are most famous and most well known for our engineering programs. We have a wide variety of engineering programs, but we also have very strong science and business programs as well. Um, and our students enjoy great placement rates. So again, they're able to get great jobs after graduation. Missouri s and has um, a very good reputation with employers, and they know that students who attend Missouri s and when they hire them, they're going to add a lot of value to their company. This is just a snapshot of kind of our student body here at Missouri s and Our total enrollment is um, 8,600 students, so we're a middle-sized university um, in the United States. Almost 7,000 undergraduate students and almost 2,000 graduate students. We have over 850 um, international students representing 45 different countries. So we have a very diverse international student population. Um, for students from Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, we have over 100 students from those countries. So there's a very strong community there. Um, but you're also going to be in class with students from the United States, students from Europe, students from African countries, students from South America. So you're really going to be getting a global education here at Missouri s and um, Here are some of the rankings that we're most proud of. So when you're choosing um, a university to go and study in the United States, um, rankings are one thing that students always like to look at because it's something tangible. We understand that rankings are important, but they're not always the most important. They're one piece of the puzzle when you're deciding what university is the right fit for you. But Missouri s and does have some very high rankings, um, being that we're the number three engineering college in the U.S. So again, that's what we're most famous for is our engineering. We're ranked the number 25 top STEM college. So that science, technology, engineering, and math college um, ranked number six university for annual return on investment and number 18 um, best school for internships. So not only are students able to get great jobs after graduation, a lot of students take the opportunity to work for companies um, during the summer so they can go and get some professional experience through an internship. And we have a lot of students who are working for really well-known um, companies in different industries. So at the 
necessary s and t we have what, what's known as two colleges one is the college of art science and business and here you can see the undergraduate programs that are um, available in this college there's everything from mathematics biology chemistry um, business information science technology so a wide variety of things are available in um, our College of Art, Science, and Business. And then our second college is the College of Engineering and Computing. So you can see here um, our very wide variety of engineering programs. So we offer a lot more engineering programs than your typical university in the United States. So we of course have you know, popular programs like civil engineering, computer engineering, but we also have more unique um, programs that aren't available at every university, such as nuclear engineering or petroleum engineering that are a bit more specialized um, and unique to our campus. We offer 21 PhD programs. So you can see those listed there. Um, many of our engineering programs, um, along with math and physics, um, you can earn a PhD in those areas. And we have over 30 master's programs. Um, again, a very wide variety from engineering to an MBA program to chemistry. Um, so lots of things to offer. We also have um, over 50 graduate certificate programs. So if you are a graduate student, um, in addition to your degree or diploma in that specific area, such as let's say petroleum engineering, you can also get a graduate certificate. So these would be um, a set of six classes that you would take. It's kind of like a specialization um, that you could get so that if you want to become an expertise in a particular field, you could get a certificate in addition to your diploma. Here um, are just some of the figures about that support our claim of being a great return on investment. You can see there the average starting salaries for undergraduate students um, is over $63,000 and for graduate students over $72,000. Um, two times a year at Missouri s and and both the fall and spring, we host a very large career fair where we have hundreds of employees that come to our campus and set up booths and students are able to go around and learn about different full-time um, positions that they may have available in addition to co-ops and internships. So this is a really great networking opportunity and a chance for you to get to know and interact with some of the top corporations in your field. This is just um, a few examples of our corporate partners and hiring organizations at Missouri s &T. So these are the type of companies that you as a student will have the chance to interact with and possibly you know, get an internship or a full-time position with. So next we're gonna talk about next steps. So um, if you're joining us today and you have not applied to Missouri s and it's okay. There is still time to apply for fall semester 2019, which starts in August. If you are interested in still coming and starting your program in August, please submit your application online at apply.mst.edu as soon as possible. There is still time, but we'd like you to um, submit that application um, very soon. If you have already applied and you've been admitted, then your next steps, you're going to want to be sure to submit your financial guarantee from your sponsor if you're going to be um, sponsored by your employer or government organization. Or if you are going to be self-funded, you'll need to submit your personal bank statement that shows that you have adequate funds to support yourself here at Missouri s and as a student through um, your tuition and cost of living for one year of study. Um, you'll also want to be sure that you provide us with your mailing address because once your I-20 or DS-29 is issued, we'll need to mail that. And then once you receive that um, in the mail, that's when you're going to make your visa appointment. So important dates to remember for fall semester 2019 are you can arrive in the U.S. up to 30 days prior to your program start date that's listed on your I-20 or DS 2019. So for fall semester 2019, that program start date will be August 5th 
because that's one day before our new international student orientation. So you could arrive 30 days before August 5th. Um, other important dates to remember is Tuesday, August 6th. That's going to be our new international student orientation. So we encourage all students to um, please try to arrive in RALA by this date so that you can attend orientation. This is a very helpful, you'll be able to meet other um, offices on campus. We're going to give you information about how to be a successful student. Um, our office will provide information about how to maintain your immigration status. So um, please, if at all possible, try to arrive on campus by August 6th for this orientation. Um, the start of the fall semester or the first day of class is going to be Monday, August 19th. Um, so that is kind of the very last day that you're going to want to arrive. So if for some reason you're unable to attend orientation, that's fine, but you'll want to make sure that you arrive at least the week before classes start so you have time to get registered in class and kind of get settled in. Um, more important dates to remember are if you are a graduate student, you should plan to attend um, new graduate student orientation. So this is a separate event from new international student orientation. It's on August 16th. So if you are a master's or PhD student, please mark your um, calendar for that date and plan to attend um, that orientation. For undergraduate students, if you are a freshman, meaning that you're coming to us directly after completing your high school, um, you'll want to register for PRO and you'll want to register for the August 10th date. This is an orientation for new freshmen and also um, where you'll register for class. If you are a transfer student, so meaning that you attended another university either in the United States or maybe you attended a university in your home country and took um, college credit courses, then you'll be coming as a transfer student and you'll need to be sure to attend Transfer Advising Day, which is August 14th. Um, so traveling to Rala, um, an important thing to remember is our closest airport is the St. Louis Airport. So that airport code is STL. So that's the airport that you're going to want to fly in. And then Rala is about a two hour drive from the airport. So um, you will definitely need to make travel arrangements on how you will get from the airport to Rala before you arrive. There, um, it's not possible to take a taxi or just take a train or metro. That, um, that's not possible. So you'll need to either um, talk to, if you know some current students, talk to them. If you are going to be receiving a scholarship, um, Eleanor will be sharing some information about um, sponsored students, some transportation options for you. Um, but again, flying to St. Louis Airport and make sure you have a plan on how you're going to get to Rala um, before you arrive. Um, next thing we're going to talk about is housing. So if you are an undergraduate student who is coming in as a freshman, so right after high school, or you're transferring but you have less than um, 60 credit hours that you've taken, you will need to um, live on campus in one of our residential life um, facilities or dormitories. So you'll want to go online. If you have any questions about that, go to reslife.msc.edu. We have a lot of different housing options. Um, there are traditional shared rooms, but there's also apartment style houses. So um, go have a look there. Um, let our office or residential life know if you have any questions, we'll be happy to help you at that. Um, for graduate students or um, upper class undergraduate students, um, they typically will live off campus, so you can get an apartment. Um, we have a lot of apartments that are nearby campus or within definitely within just a few minutes drive of campus. Depending on where you live, the type of apartment that you live, rent can vary anywhere from about maybe $450 to $800 a month, but you can have roommates and split that among roommates or you can live by yourself. Um, be sure to read and understand the lease before you sign anything. 
Um, it's good. You can go online and do research before you're coming, but I would not recommend that you sign anything until you arrived in Rala and actually see the apartment that you're going to be living in before you sign anything because that is a legal and binding um, contract and you want to be sure that you understand it. Do you guys have anything else to add about housing? Well, we have lots of options here in Rala, so uh, once you get here, feel free to go to the uh, offices here, they offer renting and you can see the apartments and they have uh, the prices. So, uh, they already have website, you can check the apartment, but please don't sign anything or don't pay anything until you come here. Yeah. So um, it, another thing to consider is if you're going to be renting an apartment, um, you may not be able to find that apartment on the very first day that you arrive in Rala. So if you maybe know some of your senior classmates, you may be able to stay with them for a few days while you look for an apartment, or you can always, you may, maybe you might need to get a hotel room to stay while you find that. Um, but you want to make sure that when you arrive, you give yourself enough time to find an apartment that you enjoy, that's in a location that you like, and that you're going to, um, that's going to be your home for the next year. So you want to make a good decision about that. All right, so next we'll talk about enrolling in classes. So if you are a graduate student, you will need to schedule an appointment with your academic advisor after you um, arrive on campus. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you arrive on campus for all students is come to Norwood Hall, um, room 103, and check in with the Office of International Affairs. Once you do that, you check in with us, then you can go to your academic department and find out who your advisor will be and set up that advising appointment. You'll need to meet with your academic advisor to discuss what classes you'll enroll in every semester. So you'll need to do it your first semester, but you'll also need to have that meeting and work with your academic advisor each semester that you're enrolled here at Missouri s &T. For graduate students, um, full-time enrollment is nine credit hours. So you'll need to make sure that you're always enrolled in nine credit hours because that's an immigration requirement. Typically classes here um, are three credit hours. So most graduate students will be enrolled in at least um, three credit or three courses. For undergraduate students, you will enroll um, during orientation either on August 10th if you're a freshman or August 14th if you're a transfer student. There you'll meet with your academic advisor and they'll help you select the courses that you will enroll in for that year. Um, again, you'll need to meet with your academic advisor um, before the start of every semester before you're able to enroll in classes. For undergraduate students, um, full-time enrollment is 12 credit hours, so you'll need to make sure that you're enrolled in a minimum of 12, 12 credit hours there. And for students who are in the intensive English program, you're going to enroll in those classes on the first day of class, which will be August 19th. So we do have an intensive English program here at Missouri s &T. So if you have been um, admitted to Missouri s &T, um, based on your academic record, but you have not um, submitted, maybe you didn't take the TOEFL or IELTS, or maybe you took it, but your score is low, then we do offer an intensive English program, which you can enroll in classes there, and they can help improve your English skills so you're prepared and ready to start academic classes. So um, you can look at your admission letter, and if you need to take classes in the intensive English program, there'll be a condition listed on there that says you either need to retake the TOEFL or IELTS or enroll in our IEP. Um, also, if you are coming with a spouse and they would like to enroll in the Intensive English program, that is certainly welcome as well. So, um, if you are conditionally admitted and you have not met our English requirements, when you first arrive um, here on campus, you'll need to take uh, English proficiency tests provided by our Intensive English program. And then, based on the results of that, we will determine um, what your next steps will be. So if you take that intent, or if you take that test with our IEP and your English is very strong, you may be recommended to start full-time academics right away. And you will not need to enroll in the intensive English program. 
Another option would be um, if your English is pretty good, but you still have some room for improvement, or maybe you took the TOEFL and you got a 60 or above, or you took the IELTS and you got a 5.5 or above, or you took the Pearson test, the PTE, and you got a 50 or above, that would qualify you for our pathway program. Our pathway program is part-time enrollment in our intensive English program. So you'll take some English language classes, but you'll also be able to enroll in maybe one or two academic classes that will count towards your degree. So that's what the pathway program is. It's kind of a combination. It's a part-time um, of each program. Or another option would be you may be recommended to enroll full-time in our um, intensive English program and take only language classes. So depending on where your English level is, Maybe if you haven't had an opportunity to study English before, then you may need to enroll full-time in our English program and be enrolled in that for at least a semester so you can improve your English um, before starting to take any academic classes. Um, here we have the 2018-19 estimated cost of attendance. Um, so this is kind of just a breakdown of what you can expect for an estimated cost. Again, these are not, this is the number that if you are a self-funded student and you're going to be showing us your bank statement, this is the amount that you'll need in your bank statement. Um, but for other, if you're a sponsored student, you'll just need to show us your financial guarantee from your sponsor. Um, these are estimated costs. So it's not, all students aren't going to spend exactly this amount. It really depends on your lifestyle and what you're spending. Um, your money on, but these numbers are the estimated cost for one academic year, so being enrolled in fall and spring semester. All right, so next Eleanor is going to talk a little bit about um, some special opportunities for sponsored students. So sponsored students are um, students who have a scholarship from their home country um, or a company who is paying for their schooling here to come to Missouri s and um, Currently, I am the primary contact for the sponsored students at our university. Um, these two are my students, technically. Um, they are from Saudi Arabia and they are sponsored through their government. So I work with them and they come if they have a problem or just to stop and say hi um, or anything like that. And sponsored student services will help you through the application process. So from the moment you begin applying, um, we will help walk you through that. And if you have questions, and we answer those via email or phone call a lot. Um, and we help um, with your arrival whenever you come to the United States and we help um, organize some of the immigration side. We help communicate between the immigration team and you um, and your sponsor as need be. And we also have a lot of really fun events. Um, back a few months ago, we took a trip to St. Louis and we visited the Gateway Arch and there's a zoo there that we went to and then a global, international grocery store that we went to. And Mansoor actually came with us on that trip. Yes. And I, I think he had a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> so um, we try to do a lot of different cultural events like that throughout the year. Um, hopefully once a month is kind of our goal is what we try to do. Um, and just that's, we're here for you. You know, we are the person that you can come to and we'll communicate with your sponsor um, whenever we need to. And we are that, that person in that path of communication. So if you are going to be a sponsored student and you have any questions at all, you can see that the email address down there, iasss at mst.edu. Um, send an email there and Eleanor will be more than happy to follow up and help answer any questions you may have. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is about our student organizations. So as a student, your number one top priority will of course be your academics. Um, but one important thing about um, education in the United States, it's important to be very well-rounded. So students are encouraged to study very hard, but they're also um, encouraged to get involved in other type of activities outside of the classroom. So we have over 200 student organizations that um, our students can join. So no matter what your hobbies and interests are, there's probably a student organization um, that is set up for you that, and it's a great way to make friends and kind of 
have a, a different experience than just spending all your time in the library because <laughs> that's no fun, right? So what kind of clubs are you guys involved in? Okay, so I got involved in the solar house team uh, last year and I changed to Eco Miners. Eco Miners is a club where we we try to be to keep this campus uh, eco friendly and just recycle the plastic and all everything. Anyway, we have lots of the the clubs here on campus, and you can on the first week I think of school, mm -hmm. these uh, clubs have like showcase, and you can walk through and pick uh, flyers and sign up for any group you like. All right. Yeah. So on the first Friday of the semester. We have what's called Minorama, and um, inside kind of this grassy quad area on campus, all of the different student organizations will have tables and tents set up. So it's a really great chance for new students to walk around and kind of learn about different clubs. And a lot of times you can sign up or they'll let you know about upcoming events that you can attend to learn more about them. So um, I would definitely recommend that you attend uh, Minorama because it's a really fun day. Are you involved in anything? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. Uh, recently, I joined Backpacking Club. Oh, yes. Yeah. And explain what is what is backpacking? Oh, backpacking is basically hiking or canoeing or and uh, International Students Club, uh, Saudi Student Association. Yeah. Just saying and. Yeah, but uh, you can also like attend any event for any other club, even if you are not like part of the club. And that's what they usually do. Yeah, there's there's always something going on on campus, whether they're showing like a free movie or some organization is having like a soccer game or some other kind of fun event. So. Um, if you are the type of person who always likes to be on the go and be involved in things, like you definitely won't be bored. There's a lot of things that you can get involved in. Um, you just have to take the initiative and find out and you can't be shy to go to them and you'll have a great experience. And then one of the final things that I wanted to talk about is Celebration of Nations, which I think is a favorite event of everyone here um, on campus. So Celebration of Nations is um, a huge international festival that's hosted by um, the university and also the city of Rala. So um, in the past few years, we've had over 4,000 people attend the event. The day starts off with a parade where um, we have about 100 different countries are represented. People are carrying flags from all over the world. There's different floats. Um, and it's a really great kind of, everyone comes together to celebrate the diversity of their cultures. And then in the afternoon, there's a festival and different clubs and professional vendors will have tents set up and all kinds of delicious food will be sold. You can try food from every corner of the world. Um, there's crafts available. There's lots of really fun things for kids to do. Um, and then there's also a talent show called Celebrate Talent where if you're a singer or dancer, you can uh, participate in that. If you are not so talented like myself, you can just enjoy from the audience and cheer them on. Um, but it's a really fun day. I think it really is a great example of how Rala embraces our diverse culture here. And it's really an international city and uh, it's, it's a really fun day, so. Yeah. yeah, and as you can see from some of these pictures, a lot of times um, students or um, our international community members will wear their traditional dress. So while you're packing, if you want to pack maybe some traditional clothing items, Celebration of Nations is a really great opportunity to kind of show those off because people in the community, it's a good educational opportunity for them as well to kind of see where all of our students are from and learn about their cultures. All right, so here um, we have. <laughs> um, here we have um, Eleanor and myself's contact information. Um, you can send us an email if you have any questions. 
We'd also like to open this up um, if you want to unmute yourself or type in the chat box um, any questions that you might have for anyone here. So, does anyone have anything? Do you have questions? Don't be shy, just ask. Uh, actually, I do have one question. Yeah, what's that? Uh, I got two admission before my last admission, which is in fall. It was for spring, I believe, and then summer. But the, in my admission, there weren't any conditions. Except the last one, there was one condition, which is I have to do a math placement test. When I went to Joey's to see my transfer report, I have seen they, they transferred to me five math classes out of six, which is good. So if I did this math placement test and let's say I did bad, hopefully not, are they going to take some of these classes out of the report or how exactly is it? No, so the uh, you're coming in as a transfer student, an right. undergraduate transfer student. Okay, so um, the courses that you took at your previous institution um, will be evaluated for transfer credit, and if they are equivalent to some courses at Missouri S and T, then they will count as that um, transfer. They will count as those credits, so you won't have to retake the class. Um, and the math placement test is probably just to kind of make sure that you are at the right level so you are, so your advisor can recommend that you take the correct class and that you're not put in a class that's too easy or too difficult for you, so. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Any other questions? Don't be shy. I know you have uh, questions out there. Is there any, any halal stores in the roll -up? Yeah, there's yeah. one here in downtown Rolla and they're open during the day. And they have a coffee shop too. So if that's you a guy, then you will like it. <laughs> no. Do they have hookah? Yeah, they do. Oh, I didn't know that. Do they have hookah, you see? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's good to hear. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have lots of things to do here during the week or the, the weekends. And you are doing master, right? I'm doing undergrad and he's doing master. You are doing undergrad, right? Yeah. And which major? Engineering? Mechanical engineering. Yeah. Oh. Good. What's your major? Uh, engineering management. Good. Good. Yeah. Well, do you guys have any advice or anything that you would want to, things you wish you knew before you came to Rala that you can share with them? <laughs> um, just don't bring seasoning because we do have it. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Eleanor because I have talked to her a lot and I know <laughs> it was like so so thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. It's good to meet you, Ali. <laughs> Thanks, Mansoor. Thanks. I didn't know your name. I didn't hear it. All right. Well, anything else for the group? Uh, if you have any question, you can contact me or contact me either, so okay. it's okay. Uh, I don't actually. All right. Well, again, thank you um, for joining, and um, we look forward to welcoming you and Tarala this fall or this summer. So we'll Thanks see you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.